Welcome back. So in a press release last week, Acer have announced seven new Chromebook models coming our way. Let's start by looking at this, the Acer Chromebook Plus 516. So we've had the 516 GE before from Acer. That was a 16 inch gaming Chromebook. This is just a regular 16 inch Chromebook. So if you want a productivity machine with a massive display, this is gonna be of interest. So they're offering this with up to the Intel Core 7 processor, and as you see, up to 16 gig of RAM and up to a 512 gig NVMe SSD. So I expect we're gonna see more common configs of eight gig and lower storage specs, but we'll have to wait and see exactly what we get there. It looks like all of these Chromebook Plus models are moving to 16 by 10 aspect ratios, and that means they're getting a WUXGA resolution, so 1920 by 1200. You'll have seen that in my recent unboxings as well of the 3 Series Chromebooks, so the Spin 314 that I just unboxed, as well as the Spin 312. This one and all of the Chromebook Plus models are also getting the new keyboard, so they're getting the new Quick Insert key, like we first saw on the Samsung Galaxy Chromebook Plus. So that's another nice update to these models. And it also looks like all the Chromebook Plus models are getting Wi-Fi 7. So again, a decent step up from all of the Wi-Fi 6 devices we've seen up to this point. It sounds like this regular 516 will just have a full HD webcam, and this is going to be available as soon as May in Amir. So it's going to start at 699 euros. Just converting that, that's about 584 British pounds or about 756 US dollars. But I expect actual pricing will work in a different way when you convert it between regions. There's also an enterprise version of this, so the Acer Chromebook Plus Enterprise 516. Very similar specs, apart from looking at the imagery, as you may expect with an enterprise model as well, it looks like it'll get a fingerprint reader. And they talk about this one having a Quad HD webcam. There's no definitive signs for either of the models as to whether it's a plastic chassis or an aluminium lid at least, so it's gonna be really interesting to see that. Next up, we've got several new versions of the Acer Chromebook Plus 514. So this is really a third generation of this model line, this 14 inch based mid-range Chromebook from Acer. So we've seen a first gen that was AMD based, then last year they moved to the Intel Core i3 N305 processor, and we've got a couple of options this year. So we've got the Intel Core 3 N355 processor, and then we've got another model line that's gonna have up to the Intel Core 7. So looking first of all at the Intel Core 3 and 355 based version, very similar things I've talked about already in terms of the screen resolution and aspect ratio. That one should get a full HD webcam. Again, can't be 100% sure on the build material. If it's like last year, it will be an all plastic build, but we'll have to wait and see. Can't really tell from this imagery. We're told for the Acer Chromebook Plus 514 with that Core 3 N355, that that model is gonna be available in EMEA starting in June, and it's expected to start at 479 euros. Again, just converting that, that's about 400 pound or 518 US dollars at today's rates. There's going to be an enterprise version of that model too. Uh, sounds like it's going to, of course, be very similar. A bit of extra information we're given that it's going to weigh 1.4 kg and it's going to be less than 18 millimeters thin. So I'd assume that that applies to the non-enterprise version as well, but just an extra bit of information there. And we're told that for that enterprise version with uh, backlit keyboards in particular, that that's gonna be available in EMEA in June, starting at 679 euros. That's again, just converting at today's rates, about 567 pounds or about 734 US dollars. There's then going to be an Acer Chromebook Plus 514 with up to the Intel Core 7 processor. Again, all sounding very similar. A bit of extra information we're given that that should have up to 17 hours of battery life, which sounds crazy. So it'll be really interesting if it's possible to test that out. Um, we're told that that model is gonna come with a Quad HD webcam and a backlit keyboard, and that should be available in EMEA in June, starting at 579 euros. Again, converting that today, that's about 484 British pounds or about 626 US dollars. To complete the lineup of the 514, there will also be an Acer Chromebook Plus Enterprise 514 with the up to 
Intel Core 7 processor. So again, all sounding very similar. They mentioned the Quad HD webcam for that one as well. And that's going to be available with a fingerprint reader too. And it should be available in EMEA starting in June at 729 euros. That's about 609 British pounds or 788 US dollars. Again, just converting it to today's rates. We've also got the Acer Chromebook Tab 311 coming our way, so that's a detachable Chromebook. That's due in July in EMEA. I expect for all of these dates that the US is going to be similar or slightly early based on what we've usually seen. In EMEA they're saying that's going to start at €329, Euros. that's about £275 or 355 US dollars. again just converting it to today's rates. So this one is going to be powered by the MediaTek Companio 520 processor. So interestingly, they've gone for that slightly older Companio, not the 838 that we saw in the Lenovo Duet 11 inch that came out last year. Up to 128 gig of storage. Looks like that's just EMMC and up to 8 gig of RAM and that's low power DDR4 RAM. So based on those being up tos, it of course suggests that there's probably going to be a 4 gig of RAM option with say 64 gig of storage or similar. We're just going to have to see. But as always, I would really recommend looking at that 8 gig model, but we're going to have to see what it offers overall. 10.95 inch display, again a WUXGA 1920 by 1200 resolution. So very similar there and a 60 hertz refresh rate. It's looking like it's going to be fairly thin. They're saying 9.05 mil thin and it will weigh one kilogram, which is reasonable for what this is. So they're saying that's split between 610 grams just for the tablet and 415 grams for the keyboard and case. They're saying that's whilst still meeting military grade durability standards. So expecting it to be tough and it's going to have an 8,000 milliamp hour battery inside it and they're saying that that can provide over 10 hours of battery life. So again, that's going to be quite interesting to see how that really does perform. It looks like some models will come with an optional USI 2.0 stylus and there's the keyboard and the case of course with it as well. Camera wise it's going to have a 2 megapixel front facing camera and a 5 megapixel camera on the rear. This one's just going to be Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.3 and they do mention an optional 4G connectivity model so I expect that'll just be a, a model option. Really interesting to see all of these Chromebooks coming out from Acer. Let me know in the comments which you'll be most interested in and if you want to watch another video from the channel now that's on screen for you next.